The ceremony for Officer Davis hasn't started yet. to a 1030 on an armored car. Available officers report to Turtle Bay. Over. Demons robbing. There are easier ways to make money, guys. Less socially destructive. <laughs> The longer the demons stay out there, the more lives they put at risk. I need to stop them. Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. I took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. Multiple officers down. Officers needed in Gramercy. Please copy. Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. 
I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. I found the problem. Need to clean up the site fast. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. This stuff. <laughs> Just a couple more barrels. Last one.
That's it. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. If you told 12-year-old me one day dudes in masks would try to blow him up with rockets, well, actually, you'd probably get pretty excited. Here you go. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, Rezone for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Another camera. Looks like Black Cat, all right. Oh, poor spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection?
Found you. I think they sell rare wine here. She's branching out. Gotta try and get ahead of her. That's a hold up. Always nice to stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong in the fundamentals. Thanks. You wouldn't understand. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison, full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. All units, immediate backup needed. Demons are firing on police. Officers needed in little... Maybe this will help me balance work and a personal life. If I ever find time to read it. my skills to good use. Hey, Howard. Think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit. Clarence. Guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards feet. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find.
Great news! You'll see all your friends again in jail. I know! I'm a jerk! They deserved it. My Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I gonna take his money. Even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. All units, 1010 narcotic sale reported in progress. Officers needed near Civic Center. Fisk did keep these wannabe pushers in check. Wait a minute, what's... It's all over the news. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon mask gunmen threatening the lives of New York. I understand our next caller lives in the air. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50-megaton payload of fact. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one of Another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. Fisk, for all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. But these demons? Either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, 
I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Get around somehow. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, are you okay? Come on. Okay. Okay. 
You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be all right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. Sam. All right, Liz, uh, I, love you. I, I have to go find Dad, okay? No, wait. Miles, no. Miles, no! Dad's in there. I'll find him. right there. I was right there. Gotta help him. to leave.
I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on me? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This coming from a guy who can run up walls. <laughs> <laughs>